So when we're doing wave superposition, um, one of the questions I get is how do you deal with two wave pulses where one is a triangle and one is a rectangle? Um, and so first I want to take a look at this worksheet and just uh, identify, you know, where these wave pulses are. So if each one moves one box per second, if it was here at zero seconds, then it'll be here at one second. And the B wave is going to move to the left the same way. Um, and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just draw each of these wave pulses, both the A's and the B's, um, moving towards each other. So as you can see here, we have the red wave or the A wave moving to the right one box per second. So each second, the red wave is one farther to the right and the blue wave is one farther to the left. So now that we've done this, um, now what we're going to do is we are going to add the two waves together. Um, and I want to actually start at the two seconds because I think this gives a good uh, basis for how to explain it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where the red wave is. So if the red wave is at zero all the way here, now it's at, I don't know, three quarters or something. Then it's at one and a half. Then it's at like mm, two and a quarter. And then it's at three. And then it drops back down to zero. And the blue wave is at zero the whole time until it drop, jumps up to two. And then it goes back down to zero again. Now, just so it's easier to see, I went ahead and switched to black paper. And instead of green, I'm going to use yellow because it'll show up better in contrast with the red and blue, um, especially if you're colorblind. So whenever you talk about the green line, it's actually going to be yellow. Um, and so when I go ahead and do that and I add these two waves together, um, all I have to do is look at the numbers vertically. Um, and so I'm going to add zero plus zero and I get zero for all of these. And then for this next one, I have zero plus three quarters. Well, anything plus uh, zero is going to be the same number. So I'll just be here. Um, and then that'll transfer to right before the blue line happens uh, to go up. And then at that point, two plus one and a half is going to be three and a half. And so I'm going to go from this point right here where it was coming up at a nice even pace with the red. Um, and then it's going to go up and it's going to jump up to three and a half because the blue is at two and the red is at one and a half. So I'm going to go one, two, three and a half. And that's going to be that point there. Now I'm going to go ahead and notice that the blue line does the same thing here the whole time. And the red thing keeps going up at a constant rate. Um, should we, so we should get a straight line between here and there. Um, but it's going to be at an angle uh, because the red is changing and all. So I can look right here at this point and I say, okay, well, red is at three and blue is at two and two plus three is five. And if I wanted to put a whole bunch of dots in the middle of this, I could, I could be like, all right, right here, it's at two plus 2.5. So it'd be 4.25. And what I'm going to get is a nice line here. And if I wanted to make lots and lots of little dots in between, I definitely could. Um, and then on the right hand side of this right here, right after that line, it quick drops down because that's where the red is dropping down. And then it, I will end up with a two plus zero. Well, two plus zero is two. So this will drop right back down right here. And then I have two plus zero again. So that's going to give me a two and two plus zero again, which will give me a two. And then it'll drop back down to zero when it's at zero. And that's wave superposition. So wave superposition is literally just adding the two waves together. Um, in this case, they're adding up to be bigger. Um, and then 
if one of them was positive and the other one was negative, then they would add together to be a smaller wave. So let's do another one. Uh, so this one here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and write all the numbers for where red and blue are. And now when I add these together again, the first part is just 0 plus 0, so that'll be 0. Um, and then it quick jumps up here, so now the blue is at 2, but red is still at 0, so 2 plus 0 is 2. Um, and then this is where we've got that diagonal part. So I'm going to look at the beginning dot. I'm going to look at the end dot. Well, the end dot here is going to be at blue 2 plus red 3. Well, 2 plus 3 is 5, which will be right there. And because neither one changes how it's changing, uh, I'll be able to just do a straight line. Now I can check my work here because if I do the middle, I can go 2 plus 1.5. Well, that's 3.5, which is exactly where that is. That is at 3.5. So that means I'm doing it correctly. And then again, anytime I have a jump, like this blue one and the red one are jumping here, um, I'm going to get a jump in my line. So right before this line here, it was at a height of 5, but right after they're both at 0. So here it's just going to go and then go straight down to 0. And then once I'm at 0, I'm going to stay at 0. And again, at 4 seconds, we're going to go ahead and add the numbers in and then add them together. Now, on your worksheet, you do not need to write all the tiny little numbers. Um, I've just found that when I teach it, it really helps students to understand how we are adding the two waves together. All right, so these here is just at zero the whole time because they're both at zero. Um, and then all of a sudden blue jumps up to two. So I'll have two plus zero, which is two. And then at this point, red starts to change. Well, when red starts to change, that means the sum of the two waves is going to change. Uh, and at this point, red is at one and a half and blue is at two. So we get three and a half. So one, two, three and a half. We'll go there. Um, and so I can just go like that because it's a straight line. We can add those two together. And then the tricky thing is right after that point, then they drops down so that blue becomes zero. Well, zero plus 1.5 is going to be 1.5. So then this will drop down and this will be at 1.5. And then since blue is at zero, zero plus anything is whatever that other thing is. So now we'll follow the red line again. And then once they're both zero, then we'll be back at zero again. And going back to this idea of the two waves, like before they start overlapping, if you were thinking of this as a string or a slinky, it would, you would be able to see the two wave pulses separate from each other as they're moving towards each other. So that's what the string or slinky or spring would look like. And then if I kept going, I know this one's not on your worksheet, um, you would see the two waves and now they will have switched places compared to where they were at the very beginning. So at the beginning, we had the red wave on the left and the blue wave on the right. And now they have switched places, um, but they have not changed. If you have any questions, let me know.